Well, this is how I start the morning off. I come in, build me a nice fire, make a cup of coffee, and uh, figure out what I'm going to do for the day. I'll tell you what, the wood burner, you guys remember when we were putting the wood burner in? It certainly is paying, it's, it's paying for itself now. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, it's pretty decently warm. I don't have a thermometer in here now, uh, but it last night it got down into probably the 20s, and uh, we're in the garage uh, working. I don't have to have a jacket on or nothing. This thing is putting off an amazing amount of heat. But it sure is nice in the morning to sit down beside the wood burner and drink a cup of coffee and figure out what we're going to do for the day. Uh, I did want to talk to you guys about a couple things. Uh, I got a couple new tools I wanted to show you. Um, uh, the reason why I'm buying these tools, now I didn't get these tools, these are not brand new tools. I got them off of Facebook. Uh, my buddy Rick gave me a, a buzz and told me, uh, he sent me a, a, a message and had this uh, Facebook link, uh, had a couple tools on it, and eventually uh, on the Barnuminium we want to do all of our trim. We want to be able to cut our trim on the sawmill and plane it down and do what we got to do to build all of our own trim inside the Barnuminium. So I'm going to get to showing you what tools I bought. And uh, you guys let me know what you think about the, the tools. I'm not really familiar with them. Uh, I have them. And we're going to be using them. And I'll show you what uh, some of them can do. At least the, way, the one. Uh, let me get to showing you these tools. The first one I want to show you is the table saw. Uh, this is a Devault table saw. Uh, I like it because it folds up nice and tight little compact and that's what I need in a small uh, shop like this you need to be able to put this stuff away and not have it scattered all over the place uh, it is a DWE 7491 that is the uh, number of that saw the, uh, the model uh, let me give it to you again DWE 7491 uh, I know my buddy Daryl has one of these saws, and he really he speaks highly of this saw. So uh, we got this saw. I kind of got a package deal on these two tools, and I'll tell you what I paid for them here in a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I really like this because I can take this anywhere I want and set it up. If I need it in the barn dominium, I can take it, roll it right to the barn dominium like that and uh, set it up and use it or I can set it up right here in the garage so let me get this thing unbuckled this is a pretty cool setup I like how this all comes apart let me show you how it works we're going to start off with the bottom legs all you have to do is there's a lever on this side you got one here and one over here just push down on that lever and then pull your leg out and wait for it to snap do the same thing with the other side push down let go of it and let it snap. Pretty simple. Now we have our top legs right here. You're going to push in, pull out, let go of it, let it snap in. We'll do the same thing with the other side. So we'll reach in here, we'll push down, pull out, let it go, snap in. Now that we have our legs out, we're going to move this out into the floor just a little bit. If you put your foot down on that bottom uh, axle there, you can push it back then pull it up just like so pretty simple now we have the table saw set up and ready to go okay I'm just going by reviews on this saw and I've been told these are really really good saws so uh, basically uh, that's why I picked it up I do know if you set this fence uh, and you want to cut a two inch piece of wood when it comes out the other side, you get it right here, you take it down to your two inches, lock it into place, and when you cut that piece of wood, it's exactly two inches. Actually, uh, we cut this piece of wood the other day and uh, put it at two inches, and it was exactly two inches. So, it uh, really does a good job when you're cutting. I know my other saw didn't quite do as nice a job, and with the new barn dominium, build. I want to make sure we're cutting the wood straight and uh, doing a good job at it. 
Uh, the fence is pretty cool. Uh, this is pretty neat because if you get out here and you're real far out, you need to uh, you know go out to say 24 inches. This guy here helps you out because it gives you a place for your board to run even over here, which is really neat. Uh, I don't really know a whole bunch about the saw. Uh, Daryl Stokes has a good video uh, on this saw, and he shows you how to adjust everything to make sure that it's cutting true. Uh, make sure this is at 90 degrees, this is at 90. He knows all about these saws. I'll leave a link to that video so you, you guys want to check this saw out, how it actually works with somebody who knows more about it than I do. Because uh, that's where I go to get my information on this saw. Uh, he really likes this saw and he, he does a lot of uh, work with it. So that's kind of the reason I bought it. I figured, hey, if it's good enough for old Daryl Stokes, that bad boy would be perfect for me. Because I ain't quite as good with wood as he is. Let me show you the other tool we got. Okay, we picked up this joiner. Um, this was a package deal. I got the table saw and this joiner. And this thing is really slick. I like how it works. I'm going to show you a piece of wood that came off the sawmill. This is a piece of wood that came off the sawmill. And I cut a piece of this wood off. And this is a piece of that wood right there. Look at how beautiful. That's all poplar wood there. This is that poplar wood we was putting on the walls in the garage. This piece here has been sitting around since we did the garage and I run it through that, we run it through that uh, joiner and look at how nice that wood is. Is that not nice or what? That's beautiful wood. And it's hard to believe that that's the exact same wood. Oh, but this little guy here I think is going to work out nice for us too. Now we're going to eventually get a uh, planer too uh, so we can uh, plane our boards. We'll run the boards through this because we're basically doing all of our trim boards. This is a six inch uh, joiner. So I think this is gonna work out for our trim inside the house. I don't think we'll have anything uh, you know, wider than that six inches. So we got the, the joiner and we got the table saw for 400 bucks. I thought that was a very good deal. Uh, some people said that might have been close to $1,000 for both of them or 800 bucks or whatever. I think we saved a lot of money by buying them that way. And uh, I'm not so sure how much I'm going to use them after uh, we do the barn dominium build, but you never know. I won't get rid of them. You never know. We might want to do some wood projects. We got the sawmill now. That reminds me. Let me show you some of the wood we've been cutting with the sawmill. Now this stack of wood right here on the bottom, this just this pile here, not this pile back in here. These are the two befores that were in the garage. This is all poplar wood. This is one log uh, Julie and I cut up on the sawmill and we're going to let it set here and dry. We got two more logs out there to cut and we're going to bring them in here and let them dry up and make sure they're good and dry. We got to get one of them moisture testers uh, to, you know, make sure our wood is good and dry before we go putting it in the barn dominium for trim. Uh, if we can get all the tools to work with, I think we could do a really nice job. Uh, I know we have a big beam that's going to go across the ceiling in the barn dominium. It's kind of a fake beam, but hey, we're going to do a nice job. I think we can do it with this uh, sawmill lumber. I think it'll work out pretty good. So that's a couple of the tools that we just picked up on Facebook uh, so we can build these, do the trim in the barn dominium. I think it's going to, I think these are going to work out pretty good. Now the next thing we want to try to find is a good planer and I'll probably end up uh, getting the big DeWalt uh, uh, planer because I know we're going to, eventually we may do a lot more of this uh, sawmill lumber uh, turning it into boards because there's some different things we want to do in the barn dominium and we're going to need that planer. So that's what I'm going to kind of keep my eyes out for, a good planer. And then I think we'll have enough tools to do all the trim and everything inside the barn dominium. I would like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like.